Let's take a look at two DeFi projects that can make you rich in 2021. I've always just wanted to say that there are so many titles out there about making you rich with cryptocurrencies. All right, let's dig down into the real deal. I'm Jason Pizzino. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you find some value from the channel. And of course, hit the like button up, guys, as soon as you click onto the videos because YouTube has its ways of shadow banning cryptocurrency content. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for joining us again. We're gonna get into these DeFi cryptos, looking at them on the charts and discussing their weaknesses and their strengths. All right, without further ado, let's jump into it. But there will be some further ado. I'm not a financial advisor, all right? You guys should know that by now. No one on YouTube is a financial advisor. Who's saying they are? All right, let's have a look at these charts. All right, so the first project is Injective Protocol. Now these projects are also going to be small caps. They're under $100 million at this point. And that's the reason why they can make you rich. There's more upside potential to these projects. More uh, easily, these things can go 10, 20, 50X. Uh, this is a decentralized exchange and it has a number of features on here which look amazing, of course, as they all do. Layer two speeds, order book model, unlimited markets, zero gas fees. That's been the problem for a lot of other decentralized exchanges. The gas fees end up getting so high that they are almost unusable. So in this case, zero gas fees. Uh, layer two just means it's going on top of the Ethereum network and it's making things a lot easier within the network. Fully decentralized as well. And the upside to this is that you can create any sort of trading product on top of it. So that's something that no other decentralized exchange, as far as I know, can say that they can do. So that just means that we can get stocks onto this market, you can get futures. If anyone is willing to create these assets that they wanna trade, then you can put it onto this decentralized exchange. So they're the differences with Injective Protocol compared to other decentralized exchanges. Now, there's gonna be a lot of them that come out throughout this bull market. Don't get tied up to all of the hype around the project. They will all bust at some point. So what we wanna have a look at is when are we looking for a boom and sure, hopefully we get out before the bust. Now let's take a look at the chart for Injective Protocol. I've got some alerts set up here. There's not much data at all. What I don't wanna see is this drop below these areas of around uh, 10,000 Satoshis. That just means that it would be better holding Bitcoin rather than holding this project. Maybe just for the short term, who knows? But we don't wanna see it take out the, the major current lows, which are sitting at around 5,000. So I'm just looking on the side here, five and a half thousand. There's the line there. Basically, if that happens, then we're looking a little bit in trouble against the Bitcoin value. It's not to say that it can't boom later on, but we wanna keep those in mind because the USD valuation has just been going up and up and up. Started at around 70 cents here. Of course, we've got an opening price of around 40 and then shot straight to $2.20. And now we're sitting around four and a half dollars. And I think we're probably gonna look for some sort of breakout above this $4 level and who knows where the top is gonna be after that. It's such a low market cap that the potential is very high. So we can see it's at $67 million. If we take a look at other uh, crypto decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, where's my Uniswap here? So Uni is at around a billion, billion seven, 1.7 billion. Can it be as big as this? Sure, sure it can. Are we trying to get some hopium in here to make us the richest in 2021? Sure, that's what happens on YouTube. That's what everyone comes to YouTube for, to make sure they're gonna get their hope, get their hopes up, their dreams going nice and strong. And you know, we're all gonna be rich living on the moon with Lambos, like nonsense. Anywho, 1.7 billion is what Uniswap's at. And uh, of course, uh, Injective is at 66. So if we take a calculator and go 1.7 billion divided by 66 million, 25x, 26x. So 26 times 66 million gives us that 1.7 billion. That's just to get to Uniswap's price. Now, I have no doubts Uniswap is going to be worth a lot more than 1.7. I think we could at least see a five to 10x on Uniswap. And that's why I'm looking at Injective Protocol 
as being a much bigger gain there. Now with all of these, there is a much bigger risk. All right, so keep that in mind. Uh, I wouldn't be betting the house on anything like this. I'd have my account set up and then just be putting a small portion towards these. Depends how conservative you wanna be with these uh, coins, tokens, whatever they are. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's gonna depend on you and not losing your damn shirt on these, pro, uh, these projects here. So where can you trade Injective? You can look further down this page on CoinMarketCap, we've got Binance, Uniswap, Hotbit. I would probably lean towards Binance if I'm overseas. Obviously I'm here in Australia, so I can use SwiftX. I've got SwiftX here and uh, there is Injective Protocol right there, chart, nice, clean, simple. I just go to buy and then put in Injective Protocol. That's what I'm doing right there. Uh, how much? Easily done. So Injective is on SwiftX and on Binance. The thing is you don't see Injective Protocol or you don't see SwiftX on the Injective Protocol on CoinMarketCap. So you're gonna have to go to SwiftX itself and look for it under trade and buy. So that's the first one done. I definitely like the look of Injective. I think it's going to go up from here. Seeing as we are most likely in an altcoin season right now, early January, generally these last a few weeks. So let's see how we go through to February. Now, with that said, let's jump across to the second DeFi low cap cryptocurrency that can make you rich in 2021. And that low cap cryptocurrency is one inch. Now there's a lot of adult jokes you can make about this. Enough said, we'll move on. Uh, market cap is 87 and a half million, so a little bit more than Injective. And it is similar, it's a decentralized exchange. It does a lot of those same things. You can pick it up on Binance or OKX, Hyobi, but I wouldn't go to these other ones. I've never used these. I've only ever used Hyobi, OKX and Binance. Um, yeah, look, decentral another decentralized exchange. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of these projects and at certain times, these are gonna boom all together. So just learn from the XRP army, okay? Learn from any of those primal instinct type investors where they jump on board something and hold it till the bitter end, ride the boom up and then the bust. Learn from that, please. If that's one thing you take away from this video and you invest in anything else, just don't get, um, don't get caught holding the bags at the other end. So one inch, <laughs> I laugh every time. Why do they have to name it one inch? All right, uh, one inch, there it is, is uh, like we said, $87 million market cap. The coin price is a dollar. Circulating supply is very, very questionable. There's 72 million and 1.5 billion to come out. So if they start to bring out the supply onto the market, then this could really, really drop the price heavily. Uh, there is tokenomics to it. There's going to be a schedule of how it's released. But that's why I would take it into consideration to probably not hold this thing till the bitter end. It's going to boom. That's my belief, of course. Like we've seen with the other decentralized exchange of Uniswap, uh, this is going to be around a 20x from that point. So there's still a lot of potential in this. Not to be greedy and take the full 20%, uh, a nice conservative way might be let's go for five or 10x. Exit after 5x. So round this up to 100, it gets to 500 million take the initial capital off the table, plus some profit for yourself for your good job of holding in. Let the rest ride up to 10X, maybe it gets to a billion, and now you've got a hell of a lot more uh, percentage gains and you're risk-free and you still have some profits in case it goes from 500 all the way back down to 87 and a half million. Just use some common sense about it. Like you can see here, the circulating supply is crazy there are a lot of decentralized exchanges. So that's the weakness in these and they can bust. So let's have a look at where we can get these. And we did just see that it was on Binance Huobi. I can never say that, it's been around for years. OKX and of course, SwiftX. Let's have a look here. We are looking for one inch. Where is one inch? All right, one inch is there, $1.60 in Aussie dollars. And like you can see, it's not on CoinMarketCap and it won't be on CoinGecko either. Having a look at the chart, this is a few of the tools I've just got laid out here. There's a nice little entry I like the look of. I've got a stop underneath the lows that are set at a dollar twenty-four, and my profit target I have setting up here at around two twenty, a little higher. 
there's a 100% repeat. So the, the range here that I'm using is the low to the high projected off the low. So it's just an ABC, ABC swing trade. There is bugger all data on here, so keep that in mind. And if this happens to extend in its second move up, then we could be looking at somewhere around the 161% and $2.60. So with this little range in question at the moment, that gives us a ratio of 1.65. Gonna extend that up to our profit target. It gives us a two and a half, so 2.5. So for every risk we have here, we're looking to make two and a half times there. Uh, $2.60 doesn't bring us that far up either. It's very, very achievable if we go back to the market cap, which is at 87 million and we want to see it go from uh, its current level of $1.20 and then basically double from that point, that's very achievable. So that might just be one target area uh, that I've got laid out here on a, on a, uh, with the chart using Fibonacci as an extension tool for a profit target. That could just be one area to take some profits off, to take the initial capital off, anything like that, just to remain safe in the game. So they are definitely two DeFi small cap cryptocurrencies, which could really see some big gains, especially with their project, especially with the, the fundamentals around them. Like we talked about with Injective Protocol, they're the only ones doing uh, decentralized uh, stocks at the moment, or you can basically put any asset onto that platform. And the fundamentals for one inch are that they combined multiple decentralized exchanges so that you can get a better price on your trade. That's why I think Injective Protocol is probably a better one longer term, but they are gonna bust, remember that. They, everything will bust uh, because this still has fees, whereas Injective Protocol doesn't have fees, and I think that could be uh, a very big positive for them. Whereas with One Inch, launched in August, 2.8 million fundraising from Binance Lab, so you got big names that are supporting this decentralized exchange. Another big name is Pantera Capital, throwing another $12 million into Series A funding. Uh, plenty of big names here, Blockchain Capital, NEMA Capital, Spartan Group. These things have been backed pretty well and I think this runs off the back of the funding for Uniswap. So they saw how profitable Uniswap was and I think a lot of people are trying to come after this space into the DEX area. So two DeFi cryptocurrencies for 2021. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of one inch? Any jokes, drop them down below, that's fine and Injective Protocol. They are two on my list. Whether I hold them long term is a different question, but I, I do like Injective Protocol more so than one inch if I had to choose between the two as something to add to my portfolio long term. If you found value from the video, hit me down below. Likes, subscribe if you're new to the channel, We're going through everything cryptocurrency throughout this bull market. Join me on the next videos and I'll see you then. All right, guys, take care and until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.